Hi guys and welcome to 3D Print Tech Design on site. I'm currently visiting my parents for a uh, training next week and I thought, well, it's a really bad weather, it's really boring, so why not try to do something in my dad's pretty cool garage? So he has this car, a Triumph uh, Spitfire, that is being renovated. So I thought maybe I can try to do some sort of 3D scanning of this engine. Now these are terrible conditions. I don't have any space to move around. I don't have any any like distance to separate focus from the object and the background. And I, I can't even get around the engine to take from all sides. So the results are probably going to be pretty bad. I'm not going to try to measure anything. It's just a fun like can we do it video? Is it possible to even get done? And the first thing that is an issue is the light. I have to use a tripod and there's no <laughs> no way I can move a tripod around this object. So if you want to see more photogrammetry out in the wild, I have this video up in some of the corners and down in the link. You can check that out later. It explains all the procedures a little bit more. But I thought that, hey, why not make an adventure, see if we can get some cool data out of this. So the first thing we need to do is just move this engine out a little bit. I'm going to try with some light, get that in, in uh, as good as a position as possible. And then we're just going to take a lot of photos. So with that said, I think we're just going to try to figure out how we should stand in this garage. So the problem with photogrammetry is that we want to kind of get around it and I just have two lenses to play with because I didn't bring all my uh, all my camera parts down here. So I want to see what, what kind of side I want to work with. I do want to scan this side so we need to have some good light on that and maybe go around and try to get, get a few. Maybe this could work. Now we should be able to go around it and uh, take some scans around here. I just want to show you one of the issues that you see if I start to move here I'm actually going to shadow out the big light and I think that might interfere with the uh, photogrammetry. So this is the plan to do a lot of scanning in this kind of angle, getting some shots over here, moving around, maybe getting something over here. You just take a lot of different photos and you want to kind of get a lot of the engine in focus so I'm probably going to be like this type of framing uh, when I take these photos. And by the way, if you didn't know, I made another video on photogrammetry that you can check out as well. But I'm gonna, you can see my shadows are really interfering with the photos here. So I'm gonna put the lights uh, maybe a little bit better, try to see if I can get a light from above or maybe bounce it on the back wall so I don't interfere with all the shadows. So let's try to do that. Okay, so put the, the light down here. It's the only strong light I have. Uh, so it's LED light. I'm trying to bounce that on the floor so it gets a little bit, as soon as the auto lighting here, it's got a little bit better here, but it's still not super nice. But I think I'm going to try with this. I'm going to photo photograph this with a tripod. And from this angle, it is a little bit bar dark compared to the background. So make sure that we have some ex exposure measured in the center of the picture. And then when it comes over here, we do get some other light from the other room. So that's, that's okay, I suppose. But there's going to be long uh, shutter times, which means that we need to have a tripod. And I do have that. It's not super nice, but it will work. It's, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a slow process, but it will work. So again, let's just recap what we need to do. We need to take photos like this, uh, of course, in focus, and we're gonna take a lot of pictures, like all over the place. Try to keep as much as possible in focus and in frame, and then uh, in the end, we're gonna move over here. Take a lot of photos from above and yeah more or less keep everything in in this kind of frame um try to keep all, all of the engine in frame i'm not going to scan that other side with the with the fan i'm just gonna go ahead and, and see what we can achieve from this angle so here you go it's a little bit lighter this way so let's go ahead and start scanning so taking photos really because just a few things here i am using a quite high ice number i'm gonna lower that uh, to something like this and we of course need to increase our exposure something like that I'm also using the center weighted um, metering mode so we get that whatever we have in frame to, to be good so you can check this out here so there you kind of see what we have in frame right now and the plan is just to photograph this and take a lot of different angles oh.
So when all that is done, we just convert the images to TIFF and I imported them into Agisoft or Agisoft for whatever it's called, Photoscan. I'm running this through TeamViewer because my laptop is, is not very powerful, so this was the best way. So we align the images and then we are generating a mesh. You can see all of this is my in my previous video or in the video down below in the description. So this takes around an hour or so. And finally, well, it takes a little bit longer with all the points and everything, but then we have a mesh. So this is actually a pretty good result, considering that I took like 45 images or something. And I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of the result, despite being a crap scenario. So you can see that the dots on the red, uh, red pot there, they are due to high ISO and out of focus. So um, let's check it out in Sketchfab. I mean, check this out. I think it looks super nice. Uh, we can even see like some of the grain here, some of the dirt. Of course, this is, is um, let's see if we can remove the uh, texture. <laughs> the UV map isn't really good, but I didn't uh, do any focus on that. Uh, let's see if we can get the mesh. Yeah, here we see the mesh. It's not perfect at all, but it is still pretty nice, uh, pretty neat. So yeah, we didn't scan the backside. Um, and we did get some leakage here, but other than that, I have to say that I'm super proud of the... Oops, not that one. I'm super proud that we actually got through here and, and uh, we got uh, most of this metallic plate there, which is really, really thin. You can see here also, the um, maybe we can't measure on this, but it's good to have reference here for all the, all the threads and bolts and everything. So imagine if you did this like really serious with a few hundred images, then we would ex absolutely be able to plan how to work with this file. So I think that's super interesting. Again, let's just check out the, whoops, none of these, the mesh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's totally not perfect at all. But uh, the side where I had most photos is this parts here, and they are looking pretty nice. When you can even, when we go here to the final render, we can even start to read some of the text here, which I think is just super cool. So anyways, this is everything for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you are inspired to do some scanning, and let me know if you have any questions on photogrammetry or 3D scanning in general. So with this part being done, I think we should say see you next time, and bye!